The topic of this video is something known as the Biot-Savart Law, which basically answers the question, how do we get the magnetic field at any location in space? If you think about what we know so far, what we've been dealing with, we've learned uh, that the uh, force on a particle traveling through a particular point in space r, there can be a force which depends upon that particle's velocity. This is known as the magnetic force. And we have this nice formula for it, provided, of course, we know the magnetic field. In the previous lecture, we showed you how to take this force law for a single particle and use it to deal with forces of large collections of moving particles, such as we would see in wires. But that always leaves open the question, how do we determine the magnetic field at any location in space? And in fact, so far, we only know the answer to that question for just one case that we keep using over and over again. Namely, if I, if I, if I, namely, if I have a long infinite line of charge carrying a current I to the left, then at a location directly above that wire at a distance r, I know that this magnetic field points inward, as indicated by the little cross there, the back end of our arrow going into the page, with a magnitude that goes like this permeability constant mu naught times the current divided by 2 pi times the distance. And that's all that we know, this one very, very particular case. What we'd like to address today, of course, is how can we calculate the magnetic field in more general situations?